I started working on Sheer Ducks at the end of 2005. I had toyed with being a personal shopper and I think I saw one or two, I think I saw two clients. I traipsed around the shops on a Saturday morning and realised quite quickly that that wasn't a career for me. But I was always someone that people went to and said, oh, where did you get that top from? So I thought I would write a book on the best places to shop on the high street. And as I was researching contact details for the various stores that I was going to recommend, URLs kept cropping up. And I thought, hang on a minute, there's a, there's a theme here and everyone's got a website. And as I researched more and more, I saw that quite a lot of them were transactional. I had never bought anything online uh, when it came to fashion. I think back then the white company existed, Nella Porte existed, ASOS existed. It wasn't a world that I knew about and I thought there needs to be a site that brings the best places to shop online together. So it started as a directory best online retailers covering everything from fashion and beauty through to interiors, you know, anything that appealed to modern women that like nice things. As the years went by, the directory became less of a priority and the content kind of became king. And we made a decision about five years ago to bid farewell to the directory and to put content at the heart of the business and to take the business beyond just products you could buy online into sort of lifestyles. So we started to work with food and with health and with fitness and we started to realise that the Sherlock's reader was buying into a lifestyle and it was our job to educate her across all categories. And the most exciting thing to kind of realise that we were really on to something then. Three children and a business is an ongoing juggle for any mother. But I think loving what you do helps. I remember when I had my first child and the cost of childcare was just, you know, terrifying. And I paid my nanny by the hour and I, at five o'clock, would sprint up the hill to my house to get home so that she could leave and I could take over. And I was always late. When I start, first started the business, I've said this many times in interviews, but I worked Boxing Day, I worked New, you know, I worked every day, I think, other than Christmas Day, and until well into the night, every single weekend. But I loved it, and it never felt like a chore. I was kind of so excited by it. As I had children, I craved a bit more balance. And for many years, unless I'm doing an event, um, I haven't had to work weekends, so that's really nice. And I try not to work too much in the evenings. There's always a bit to do after the children have gone to bed. I think if you're, you're serious about your career, you need to invest in help. I know that's easier, easier said than done. I did a nanny share initially. I had a granny that helped me one day and it, you know, it, it was a constant struggle. It still is, um, but it definitely gets easier. My biggest challenge when I started Shillux was Probably my age and my lack of experience within the industry. So I didn't have any experience of working in publishing or in the fashion business. And I was really starting from scratch in the sense that nobody knew me. And that was definitely a challenge, knocking on people's doors and being 25, 26 and expecting them to take me seriously. Today I'm still working to gain those contacts, I suppose. In the lifespan of Sherlock, a lot of businesses have come and gone and we're still here. The fact that we're still here all these years down the line, um, I think kind of earns you respect from, from people in the industry. I would tell my 25 year old self that it's going to take a lot longer than I imagined. When I started the business, I think I thought that in three years I would grow this great business and I would sell it and be Tipping cocktails on a Caribbean island and the reality is it takes a lot of time and a lot of hard work and a lot of perseverance. To aspiring entrepreneurs, I would say just get on and do it because loving what you do is really rewarding and it prevents work from feeling like work. Plus, we're only on this planet once, so I think you've got to do these things. If you've got, you know, an itch to scratch, 
then you've got to give it a go. Most exciting thing about Sherlock's and the thing that I still get such a kick about is creating content that our readers connect with. A lot of it is gut instinct and I think that's where it started. It started with my gut instinct of is that cool, is that desirable, is that a sensible price for, for whatever the product is. Discovering something new and being able to share it with women that you know are going to be excited by what you're sharing with them. Whether that's an amazing new foundation or an incredible restaurant, that's the kind of drug of it, I guess. And every day you start again, every day you have new pressures to create more content and get a great result. I look with my team at the file for the next week's content and I go through every file for every day. I'm like, wow, that's cool, that's cool, and I love that, and our reader's gonna love that, and that's, that's really what drives me. I think that's what drives us all. People always ask who I'm inspired by, and it's, it's difficult to pick out one person. I've always been inspired by successful women. That could be Natalie Massonet, without mentioning the obvious, the founder of net porte I'm lucky enough to have met so many incredible women over the lifetime of Sherlock's. When it comes to being empowered by beauty, I'm a huge fan of Rodial. The founder of Rodial, Maria Hatsis Stephanus, is a force. She is a very inspiring entrepreneur and she's created, well, firstly, a very results-driven skincare line and also a really highly respected by the industry makeup line. So if people haven't tried Rodial Beauty, then they should do. To me, I think empowerment is about realising that only you hold the key to your own happiness and that life is what you make it and we're all in control of our own destinies.